In this video, I'm going to talk about a design tool that every author should have in their arsenal. It's called Canva, and it will make you a designer in no time. Design. If the word makes you twitch, it's okay. Authors in general don't tend to be design-minded. I'm certainly not. We're more comfortable with putting words on a page and not choosing colors, patterns, or fonts. However, paying for a designer is expensive, and there are many things that you can do yourself with the right knowledge. Enter Canva, a web-based design program that turns even the most design-challenged people into designers. With a clean and easy-to-use interface, Canva allows you to create beautiful designs quickly, and it provides a library of colors, patterns, fonts, and other design objects to help you make designs that stand out. Whether it's a book cover, a banner for your website, a Facebook ad, a YouTube thumbnail, or even business cards, Canva has you covered. And best of all, it's free. I've been using the program for about two years now. When I didn't have Photoshop, it came in handy more times than I can count. And honestly, there are times when I prefer to use Canva over Photoshop just because it's so much easier to use. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the software and show you exactly how it works so you can save some money on design fees. Okay guys, welcome to Canva. This is the homepage. And if you don't have an account, this is where you can sign up for your account. You can do it easily via Facebook or via Google. But before I jump into the app, I just wanted to show you some of the resources that are available if you are not familiar with design or if design makes you uncomfortable. So Canva offers a really cool resource called the Design School. And basically it's to help you get acquainted with design if you're not familiar with it. So they have a lot of different mini courses. So there's how to create social media graphics, Canva and Facebook. And they've got this really cool course on French design and one down here on Mexican design, which I think is pretty cool. And they have a lot of different just ways for you to get exposed to design basics. And they've got it organized by category. It's just a really great free resource that um, I always send people to if they ever have any questions on design. I also wanted to mention here under the more tab, there are some different resources for photographers and designers. There's also a iPad version, if that is your thing. And they also have a plugin for WordPress. Back to the home page here, there's another feature that um, I'm not sure people know about, and that is the photo editor. So if you click on this down here, you can upload a photo and drag it and drop it in here to start editing. So I won't go over this as most people have probably seen what photo editors can do, but just know that that's there and something that you can do as well. Here we are inside Canva, everyone. And as you can tell here, the design is very simple. You can just simply create a design by clicking on this button here and or Canva gives you a choice of a variety of different templates that you can use in connection with your business. So as we can see, we've got some social media templates that are um, created to spec for all the major social media networks. So if you wanted to create a social media graphic, if you wanted to do a Facebook cover, a Pinterest graphic, and if we scroll down here, here are some templates for PowerPoint presentations, magazines if you're into those, and authors will particularly appreciate um, templates for ebook covers, blog titles, and even infographics if you wanted to create one of those as part of your brand. And you can scroll down and you can tell that Canva offers a number of other choices as well. And they're constantly adding things. Um, when they first started, there weren't very many choices, but it seems like they're adding you know, at least a couple of new templates every few months. So that's something to definitely look forward to. And if any of these don't trip your trigger, you can always click the custom dimensions and create a template of your own. So for this video, we're going to create a blog title. So you click on it and it takes you into the screen where you do all your designing. So you can tell we have uh, the canvas here, and then we have um, a pane here that offers a number of design options that I will show you here in a minute. So let's say I wanna click on one of these templates. So here are the different design elements that you can play with. You see these thatch lines here through the image. That means that it's a premium image. Canva offers a number of premium images that you can purchase for a dollar each. And all you have to do is pay for those once you upload it or once you download the video. So we're not gonna do that. So let's say I wanna use another image. I can pop over here and I can search in Canva's library of over a million images. Many of those are free, so you can tell we've got some lovely designs here, but I wanted to use something else that I can replace the background with. Let's try this. 
There we go. That looks pretty cool. So you can tell that the image kind of darkened a little bit. If we go down here and look at the image, you can tell you can do a number of things with it. That has a filter on it. So you can change a filter over the image. Those of you who use Instagram will probably no doubt be familiar with that. So uh, I kind of like that. So we'll, we'll use that. And you can also change some additional options like intensity, contrast. So you can tinker to your heart's content if that's what you like to do from a design perspective. You can also flip the image horizontally and vertically, but we won't do that. We have some text here as well. So let's say I wanted to change that. Let's say I wanted to change that text to... And there's a lot of text here, and you can also upload your own fonts, which is pretty neat. Let's say you want to change that to Playfair Small Caps. And let's say I wanted to change the size. It's a bit small, so we'll change it back. And then let's say I wanted to change the color. Make it that lovely gold there. And you can also add your own hex code in there if you want. And the nice part about Canva is that it'll save your preferred colors for each project, so you don't have to go and select that again. So I kind of like that. That's kind of interesting. So let's say I wanted, let's say maybe I wanted to try a different font, but I, I just wanted to compare them and see how they look. So if I click this button here, it'll duplicate the image and create a new page. So I can go down here and I can change it into something else like. Parisian. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, uh, let's say PT Sans. All right, pretty basic. Not really a good font for that, but if I wanted to see a couple options, I could certainly do that. So there are a couple other things that I wanted to talk to you about here. This is a very simple interface, but as I said before, you have a number of options available to you over here on the left-hand side. You can search their image library, or you can go back to the layouts and there are a number of layout templates that they have for this kind of graphic. So you could take one of these and then kind of build off of that. It's something that I do quite often. There are also another number of design elements. So there's a free photo library. There are um, elements such as grids, frames, shapes, lines, um, charts for infographics. So if you want to create a shape, you could do that. So they're very, very useful. And you can also um, add different layers and different levels of text, depending on what you want to do with your project. And if you have a simple image, you know, just some a background with some text, you have a couple of free backgrounds that you can use. Or you could, you could create your own color, solid color background as well. And Canva also gives you the opportunity to upload your own images, which is critical on something like this because everyone these days seems to be using Canva and you don't want your design to look like everyone else's design out there. So you could very well go to a website like Shutterstock or Getty Images or Dreamstime, purchase your own royalty-free images, and then bring them into Canva to edit them. Now when we're ready to export the image, you can change the title. So let's just say, call that lovely image. You can share it with friends, you can post it on Facebook or Twitter, or you can email it to someone, say if you wanted to get their feedback, or you could just simply download it. And you can download it in um, web quality, high quality, or PDF. And if you wanted to print it, you could do that as well. So very, very robust when it comes to exporting formats. And if you wanted to make it public, you know, I mean, people could search for it on Canva, you, you could certainly do that as well. And as you can see, I have it pulled up in a separate window. This is what the final project looks like. I think that looks gorgeous. I think it looks great, and it would look great on your blog because it's it's formatted the spec. The design is really easy. It's easy to pair and match fonts, and the colors look good. So that's Canva. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I always recommend that everyone at least give Canva a try, even if you have Photoshop, because there are some things that are easier to do with Canva than in Photoshop, such as creating thumbnails, doing quick image manipulations. And if you don't have Photoshop, then this is a great way to um, do a lot of that quick editing without having to spend a lot of money. And the great thing about Canva is that it's easy to use, it provides great specs, the image output files look great, and it'll save you some dough. So I hope you'll consider it, and if you don't have a free account, 
be sure to sign up for one today. What do you think? See why so many people are raving about Canva? Be sure to sign up for your free account today. You'll need it sooner rather than later. If you've used Canva, let's get a chat going. Share a link to something below of something you've designed in the program so the people watching this video can see how many different uses there are. Drop a link in the comments. That's it for this video. If this is your first time watching, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if this video helped you in some way, do me a favor and click the like button. Thanks for watching.